Hi guys, hi, my name is Patience Boini. If you are new here, you are most welcome and thank you for joining the family. And oh, for the full membership of the family, please go ahead and follow me on Instagram and also TikTok. There's a great ton of deals that you should definitely go and say that. Anyway, I want to dedicate this video to say thank you for all the new subscribers, all the new viewers, all the people who comment on my videos. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. My analytics are doing very quite well. Thank you for all the United States viewers hi <laughs> thank you for all the france viewers thank you for all the pakistanian viewers and thank you for all the kenyan viewers thank you very much for always wanting to uh listen and uh, view my content i really don't take this for granted Okay guys, with much being said, let's jump straight into the video. So today I'm going to talk about um, things, five things actually, five things that you should do before the end of the year. Okay, I know what you're going to say. It's only like barely 20, uh, 20 days to Christmas. It's like 15, it will take 17 more days. I'm not even quite sure of the number of days that's remaining to the new year. I don't, I don't know. But you know, uh, the number of days remaining, they are very less. But then let me tell you, those numbers can definitely change your life and they can make you get prepared for 2022. And uh, you know, we don't really know what is going to be happening in 2022. It's, it's too because well for the past two years we've been having a pandemic <laughs> so we don't know what is uh, in store for us in 2022 so you have to be ready to pull your soul up to have your confidence up to do all that anyway now on to our first point repeat positive affirmations in your life each and every single moment you have time don't ever Ever in your life take this for granted because let me tell you something uh, as as soon as you wake up you give out your prayer you take a bath now you're ready to make uh, coffee or tea or whatever thing that you have in the morning or maybe you're working out take your phone go on YouTube pull up uh, positive affirmations in the morning just listen to them listen to them those affirmations that go by i am worth the time and effort i am beautiful i am kind today is going to be a good day things like that you understand i know you guys uh, uh understand about the affirmation thingy it really does help it builds up your confidence it makes you feel more of human when you're out there dealing with other humans so please 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 when you're trying to make off in the morning when you've just woken up even in the bathroom while you're having your shower put up a, a bluetooth speaker or something that you have or even your phone um pull up those positive affirmations about your life about getting money about having a good day at work things like that they will really help you even get patience while you're in the traffic uh, in the traffic jam my second point is access your values i know this is something very uh uncommon that we tend to probably ignore each and every single time but always access your values ask yourself what type of person do i want to be what type of relationships do i want to nurture what uh, what type of girlfriend do i want to be you understand what type of mom do i want to be in future or even now have long-term and short-term goals for your values. You understand what I'm saying? So um, uh, when you do that, that will actually enable and help you and guide you into prioritizing your energy, your relationships. It will help prioritize each and every single thing that is actually going on into your life. Asking yourself, uh, I am a girlfriend, right? So what can I do to become a better girlfriend? What can I do to have a better relationship with my friend? What can I do to nurture my friendships? What can I do to be a great mother? What can I do to be a good worker, a good employee? What can I do to become a good employer? What can I do to be, you know, the source of energy and the source of self patience and the self and the source of self care in your life so what can you do so please make sure you access your values take time uh to access your values because these will help nurture and prioritize your energy where you're going to put your time your energy your effort so yes on to our third point find your whys find your why find it why am I doing this? Why am I a content creator? Why am I um, 
ending up in this relationship? Why am I choosing this guy over that guy? Find your why in everything that you do in this life. Because uh, let me tell you something, as soon as you find your why, then you'll know where to put more effort and you'll know where to cut it. You know, you'll know where to put the red line. As soon as you find your why, you will always be motivated to do the right things. You will always be motivated to go through the right group. You will always be motivated to do the most, you know, the most unpredictable things that people would, people will be like, oh, okay, here we go again. You understand what I'm saying? So find your why in things that you're doing. Why are you going to work? Not just because of the money at the end of that uh, period of time you you always have to find a reason why you're doing some certain things why am i being an alcoholic why am i going out on friday nights <laughs> why am i using my money on this and that and that that will help you also prioritize your energy and uh, your values and also your time on the things that matter research confirms that having a purpose increases health longevity start asking yourself why and don't stop asking yourself that question. On to our third point, accept your life as it is now, but also stay in touch with how you want it to be. Okay? Accept, accept that we're in a pandemic. Happiness can remain elusive if you want things to be done differently. Always consider accepting practice of radical self-acceptance, which is always the active to choose what you want to do differently or accept how you're doing your things. From this practice of radical self-acceptance, uh, self, uh, you'll be able to make value-driven changes into your life. I hope you guys are getting this. Okay, so on to our fifth and uh, last or not least uh, point, accept accept who you are it's the end of year right let me let me come close to you guys so that you can see me clearly this is the end of year guys so uh make sure you take these things into consideration make sure you comment you subscribe if you haven't like this video and share my content with other viewers if you have enjoyed and also make sure you put your notification bell on so that you can always get notified when i post any new great video anyway guys apart from that Happy Vlogmas! I love you guys! The analytics show that you guys love me too. Anyway, bye!